Sao Paulo is the largest city in South America. It has 12 million people in the city of Sao Paulo alone and 21 million if you count Greater Sao Paulo. And as all big, gigantic cities like those, you will also have big city problems. The traffic jams can be overwhelming at times and a trip to the airport can take up to three hours. So obviously, a very good way of getting around those issues is to get the metro. Hi, my name is Anna, and here on this channel we speak about everything related to food, culture, architecture and much more in Brazil. Come with me as we explore this beautiful country together. Every day, 4 million people in Sao Paulo use the metro system. The metro in Sao Paulo has 13 lines, but most tourists use only four of them most often. Line 1, which is a blue one. Line 2, which is a dark green one. Line 4, which is the purple line. And line 5, which is the yellow line. These are going to most of the places that tourists want to visit. So this is probably where you're going to be circulating, as well as the line that goes to the airport if you're interested in getting the train there as well. The metro works from 4.40 in the morning up until midnight, and they will guarantee that you can make your connections if you arrive at the station just before midnight. All of your trains will be able to, to get around. So make sure to be there in time so that you can move around freely. One of the things that the metro in Sao Paulo is very good at as well is connections with the other types of transportation. It has connection to the two main bus stations in the city, such as Barra Funda and Tietê. Those are directly inside the bus station buildings. You can also connect with the Congonhas Airport, which is the domestic airport, but for that you need to change to a bus. You need to go up to São Judas Tadeu station in the blue line and then take the 609J bus to go to Congonhas Airport. You can also use the transport system to get to Guarulhos, which is the international airport that most of us fly into when we are traveling to Brazil. The connection can be made in Barra Funda Station and Luz Station, both of the blue line, number one, and it costs around five reais. And it's a, it's a pay once and then you can go all your way. So for example, if you paid to get into the metro, you take your way up until Luz or Barra Funda, you change there, all of that trip is covered. So it's quite a good deal for you to go all the way to Guarulhos just with one metro ticket. The trains to Guarulhos, they are not really metros, they're trains. They leave every full hour. And typically if you get the train that is three hours before your flight, three or two hours and a half before your flight, you should be okay. This train arrives at Terminal 1 and then you need to get a shuttle to Terminal 2 and 3 if that's the case, but they have free shuttles in the airport every 15 minutes. So it's a very good option, especially if you are traveling during rush hours. For example, if you're leaving the city around 6 p.m. in the on a weekday, or if you are arriving between 7 and 10 a.m. on a weekday, those are going to be the rush hours and you're going to have a lot of traffic. So you might want to consider the train. It's safe, it's fast, it's easy, and it's cheap. The metro stations also have access to some of the shopping malls. So if you don't want to be walking around or if you don't want to get an Uber for anything, you prefer to use public transportation, you can get directly outside in some some of the malls that exist, you don't even need to go on the streets. You come out of the metro inside the mall, do your things, do your shopping, get your souvenirs to your family and friends, and then get back in and you've never even uh, set foot on the street. Now let's talk a little bit about the prices. I'm filming this in March 24 and currently the ticket price is 5 reais per trip. Typically they will give you just like a flimsy paper that looks like a card payment receipt and it's just not ideal. Like I got two of them and I actually lost one of them because I needed to go out on the rain. It was raining quite a lot the day. I, I mentioned this in my previous video when I was talking about Vila Madalena and Pinheiros, which are two amazing neighborhoods that you can visit or consider staying in Sao Paulo. But the thing is I bought two tickets and one of them got completely broken and just went away, dissolved in the water. So make sure to put them in a safe place or to just buy whatever you need. Every time you're gonna get the Metro, don't buy in advance if you're using this method. Now, what I think is a better method if you're going to be using the Metro station more often is to buy the Cartão Fidelidade or an a loose translation, the Fidelity card. This is a card that you pay two reais to acquire and then you can buy bulks of either eight 20 or 50 trips. 
the thing is the more you buy the cheaper they are so you if you buy eight you get a small discount if you buy 20 uh, a slightly bigger discount and if you get 50 an even bigger discount if you're going to be staying in Sao Paulo for an extended period of time you might want to register that card so in case it is lost or stolen you can recoup some of your trips to a new card and transfer them to a new card but even if you don't register I think this is the best option for tourists because you can buy the 8 or the 20 pack and just get around and visit most of the things you want to do by metro it's extremely safe it's extremely comfortable especially if you're not traveling during rush hours the card is not really Really sold in all stations so there are selected stations but I was taking a look at the list and most of the stations that typically tourists will be going through will carry them so you can just stop there ask for it and if they don't have they will tell you uh, the closest one that might be selling it once you acquire this card you can recharge it in any of the stations then you don't need to be on the stations that are actually selling the card the metros are also running every few minutes and in many of the stations you will have the boards that tells you how long until the next one and even which cars are less crowded than the previous one so you can already plan your trip even like that in terms of how to use the metro you will have it's very similar to the one in rio i did a full video about the metro in rio that you can see here but you can only take your pets and your bicycles outside of rush hours. There are also preferential seats for the elderly, the pregnant and the disabled people. You're gonna see the security guards going around so it's very safe to be there. I've never heard of anything bad actually happening in the metro in Sao Paulo. And they also have a lost and found that you can even check the database for what they have on the internet or you can call them on a toll-free line if you're in Brazil. They will keep the items for up to 60 days so just be aware of this timeline. They also have a guide uh, with everything that I'm saying here and a few more extra information in English that I'm gonna link down below. This is the, the guide from the Sao Paulo Metro uh, Company official guide so I'm gonna just leave this down here below and if you want to know more about Sao Paulo and what you can do there I have this playlist here or if you're interested in public transportation uh, for your trip and maybe you're going to Rio I also have this other video here that is about the metro system in Rio I'll see you on the next one bye, bye.